Hey, what's up everybody? What's happening? This is Ken Cloutier of GetMotivatedForSuccess.com. I live down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and I teach entrepreneurs, network marketers, home business owners how to generate more leads for their business, how to sponsor more reps, and ultimately how to make more money. So hope you all had, if you celebrate it, hope you all had a great Easter weekend, had a fantastic Easter weekend with uh, some family. My dad and, and family were in town, so got to see him and spend some great quality time. So uh, just right back at it today with some more tips. And um, if you want to grow your business, you know, it can get kind of frustrating sometimes if your business isn't growing as fast as you want it to. So today I'm going to give you a little bit of tip, tips, a tip that, well, can't even talk right now, um, that's going to help you in the growth of your business because you know ultimately guys and ladies your business rises and falls on you and I'm gonna share with you a tip that was taught to me early on in my network marketing career I've been in network marketing for 15 plus years we have a great team great organization doing some coaching and some other different things but um, always love to kind of go back and, and give you some tips especially if you know you're, you're semi brand new or maybe you know you've been in the game for a little while but you're not really really getting that consistent growth that you want and I'm gonna give you a little bit of an equation for those of you math majors it's super easy because I used to be terrible at math so I don't get into a whole lot of math equations and figuring things out by the numbers but very very simple equation to really um, help propel the growth of your business or lack thereof. Um, you might figure out why your business isn't growing as much. Obviously, there's a lot of factors that are involved as to why or why your business isn't growing. There is no one shoe fits all, but a lot of the tips that I give and this one in particular can maybe help you to put a check or uh, you know, a check next to it is okay, good, I am doing this or a check of maybe I need to be doing this. So let me get right to it. How you can determine the growth of your business. I, mean, I know it's windy. Let me see if I can get to where it's not as windy. I was, I'm trying to shoot for the shade, but you know, then you have the wind and everything. So, how you can, um, you know, help determine the growth of your business is by understanding that people in your organization. Let's assume that you have some people in your organization. It could be one. It could be you know, a thousand, it could be 10,000, all right? But I'm talking to you, the business owner, the person that is, you know, it's your business. Forget about your upline for a second. Let's just talk about you and your business. So, you know, a way to help determine the speed and the growth at which your business grows is determined by you. And the equation that was taught to me um, by a couple of my mentors is to Always keep in mind that your, your downline, okay, the people in your organization, I know everybody's probably in different businesses and it may be structured a little bit different, but we're, we're talking just network marketing here for a second. Your downline, your downline will do half of what you do. Your downline, in other words, the people that you register, the people in your organization, will do half of what you do. So, for example, cold market prospecting. Maybe that's something that you and your, your organization does. If you're like beating your organization up, saying, you guys need to contact more, you need to prospect more, you need to bring more people to the, you know, the hotel meeting, blah, 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 blah. That's what they hear after a while, as a little tip. But if you want to increase the speed at which your business grows, people in your downline expand their business, which will you know, help your business. And let's say it's cold market prospecting. Your organization, the people in your group, by and far will do half of what you're doing. So look at what you're doing personally, you know, on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. How many people are you cold market prospecting? So if you're saying, well, Ken, I'm doing four people a week, man. I am, I am contacting, I'm getting four numbers a week to expand my business. Well, your group, people in your organization, most likely are doing two. They're contacting two people. So how do you get your organization as a whole to ramp up and to, to start 
growing their business more. You have to do more. You have to do more. The number to remember is your team will do half of what you want to do. So if you're like, man, I want to hit, a, I want to rank up this year. I want to hit a certain level. I need my group to grow. Don't hammer your group. What you do is you look in the mirror and you say, you know what? I've been doing four, you know, cold market prospecting uh, contacts a week. I'm going to ramp it up to eight because when you do eight, your team will do four. When you do 12, your team will do six. They do half of what you do. So if you want your business to grow faster, double up on what you're doing or just understand that they're going to do half of what you're doing. Now, I don't have like a scientific proof of 100% they do half of what you do, right? This is kind of like a, um, a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A, a, a number, a, something you can base your activity off of, right? Because you're going to have people in your organization, obviously, that are going to do way more than you and you're going to have some that do none at all. But if we were to kind of take an average, and this is, by the way, this is a mentor of mine that's been in network marketing for as long as I've been alive, which is 40 years. So, you know, they kind of know what they're talking about, multimillionaire, all right? You get it, right? So so they do half of what you do. So same with like presentations, right? The way to expose your business opportunity, right? Maybe you're doing, maybe you're doing, you know, you know, four, let's say you're doing six presentations a week. Um, you know, presenting your opportunity. Well, your group as a whole is probably doing three presentations a piece, excuse me, a piece. So, you know, the the way to grow your organization is to be an example. That's the point I'm getting at. Be an example. Don't hammer people to do more work, do more work, do more work. You go and set the pace. And then as you set the pace, people in your organization will start to recognize it because believe it or not, whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, People in your organization, in your downline, are actually watching you. They're watching to see how many guests you have coming out to your hotel meeting. They're watching to see how many new people you've registered this month. They're watching to hear how many phone calls you've made this month. They're watching to see how many presentations for your business opportunity you've done this month. They're watching to see, you know, how many people you're meeting you know, every week or every month. And so you want to be the, the pacemaker. You want to be the, the, the person with the yellow jacket, right? You want to be the leader of your organization. You need to not only just stand up with the mic and talk and be the leader, but you also need to lead with your actions. And quite honestly, actions are going to speak way louder than any mic could ever speak, okay? So the, the name of the game is, is to understand that your organization, people in your downline are looking up to you and they're doing about, on average, if you want to calculate it, on average, they're doing about half of what you're doing. So you want to have more guests out and double up on your guests and your organization will, will you know, be half of what you're, you're inviting out. You're meeting six people, know that they're meeting three people. Do you want more activity? You need to have more activity on your end personally, right? And your group will follow. And the reason why this happens, I've seen it happen all the time, even with my own organization, is when you start to pull ahead, when you start to, you know, you ramp up from meeting five people, you know, a week to 10 people a week. And, you know, you have, you know, instead of having, you know, two people coming out to the, the meetings, you're having four and six people come out. What happens then is people on your organization, with, you know, in your downline, they don't want to be left behind right? They're like, oh crap, you know, Ken sponsored two new people this month. I need to hustle so I can keep up. I want to at least sponsor one, right? You give them something to shoot for because you're setting the pace and they don't want to be left behind, right? They don't want to be the weak link. They, they want to grow so they can qualify for the same trips that you're qualifying for, so they can qualify for a lot of the same bonuses that you may be qualifying for. Understand that your downline is watching you more than you realize. So set the pace. Be that pacemaker. Double up on whatever you're doing. If you want your organization to do X amount of cold contacting, double it up and then watch them start to rise to that number. So, you know, like I said at the very beginning, the the growth of your organization rises and falls on your shoulders. It's all based on your activity. It's time as an, uh, you know, as network marketers that we, we put up or shut up, right? You know, we, we, we walk the walk, right? It's easy to talk the talk, but we need to walk the walk as an organization. And I'm not pointing fingers, obviously. This, this, is, this is a tip to help you out. So, um, you know, please don't take offense, but I'm just saying it's all based on your activity. So just know that equation in your mind 
when you're frustrated with your downline and things don't seem to be happening, take a look in the mirror first before you go and, you know, kick your downline's butt talking about they're not doing enough work. Double up on what you want to do. Understand that they're going to do half of what you're doing. So, you know, if you're meeting one person a week, well, guess what? They're probably not meeting anybody. If you're only showing two presentations a week, your downline at best is probably only showing one. That's not gonna cut it to grow your network marketing or home business. If you really wanna make it explode, then you lead the charge with so much activity that the people that wanna keep up with you, that wanna you know, keep that same pace, they don't wanna be left behind, they're gonna step up their game as well, and that's how your business can really, really start rocking and rolling through that group dynamics. And again, there's a lot of different reasons why businesses grow and don't grow, but this is a key one because if you don't do any activity, your business ain't going to grow regardless. I mean, you may slip up and find that go-getter that's going to do it whether you do it or not, but 90%, 80 to 90% of your downline, they're basically just watching you. You know, they want to know, is it worth committing and selling out to before they commit and sell out based on your activity? So if you're not doing crap in your business, why would you expect your downline to do crap? I'm just, I'm just being real. I'm just being real. I don't know any other way to be. So think about that. So if you got some value from this, guys, feel free to drop a comment below. Let me know. Hey, if you may disagree, let me know. I'd love to hear it. Um, but if you got value, drop a comment below. Let me know you got some value. If you have any questions, you can you know, drop it in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. And um, if you did get value, feel free to share this out with your teammates or anybody else that you think could benefit. Um, and for those of you who are in the home business, network marketing, MLM, direct sales, and maybe you're doing a lot of you know, um, offline marketing, but you wanna learn how to kind of bring your business online, right? You wanna catch up with this century and start using social media and videos and different methods to attract customers and prospects to you. If you are interested in that, just bit my tongue or my cheek. If you are interested in that, click on the link right below this video here. It'll give you all the details on exactly how you can use attraction marketing to start generating leads for your business, more sales, more signups, and do it all online. So click the link right below here, and I hope you got some great value. I enjoyed sharing with you guys. Again, I hope you all had an awesome Easter weekend, and we will see you on the next video. This is Ken Cloutier of GetMotivatedForSuccess.com down in sunny Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Have an awesome night. Peace out. Bye for now.